Hi everyone, this is Elena of The Witch's Box and I'm here today with another episode of Witch Booktube and today we're going to be talking about The Witch's Shield by Christopher Penchak. This book is one of the two books that went out this month in October to our book subscription people. At the time that I'm recording this, we do have some extra bundles on sale. We may not at the time that this goes live. However, if we still have some books available at the time that this goes live, I'll link to that below so that you can grab your bundle and then you'll be eligible to join us live at our Witch Book Coven gathering at the end of the month. Okay, so there's that. Let me read to you Christopher's bio and then I'll get into the book and the table of contents and all the things. You guys, look what's happening right now. I literally can't read unless I have my glasses on. Okay, so Christopher Penchak is a teacher, healing practitioner, and award-winning author of more than a dozen books, including The Witch's Coin and The Witch's Heart. He has studied extensively with witches, mystics, shamans, and healers in a variety of traditions from across the globe. And you can visit him online at www.christopherpenchak.com. I think I've already showed this to you, but this is the cover of the book. And then I'm going to read to you what the table of contents is, and then we'll go from there. So yes, I have readers because I finally went to the optometrist. I know a lot of you have heard the story because I've shared it on our lives and all the things. I finally went to the optometrist. I have brand new contacts so I can see the whole beautiful world far away, but close up, it's even harder to read. So I have these readers, but I have a couple of really cool fashionable ones coming in the mail. So I'm excited about that. Okay, let's read the table of contents. Chapter one is who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Is psychic attack real, attracting attention, psychic dangers, out of bounds, and balanced protection? Chapter two is Is there a witch doctor in the house? Symptoms of a psychic or magical harm, denial, paranoia, and diagnosis. Chapter three is Psychic hygiene, spiritual bodies, physical bodies, emotional bodies, mental bodies, and soul bodies. Chapter four is Marked for protection. How do protection charms work? Symbols of protection, stones of protection, herbs of protection. Chapter five is becoming a psychic black belt. Elemental approach to psychic defense, grounding, grounding techniques, boundaries, protection shield techniques, mental flexibility, direct action, spirit, and compassionate defense. Chapter six is somebody's watching me. Evocation, angels, power animals, deities of protection, guardian nature spirits, banishing unwanted spirits. Chapter seven is banishings, bindings, and bottles, casting a magic circle, the right time, prevention, magic, herbal protection, amulets, wards, guardian, beacon, spells, direct action, magic, banishing spells, and binding spells, counter magic, revenge, retribution, and curses, justified anger, making your own magic. And chapter eight is the nature of true evil and the divine, good and evil, the divine in all nature. And then there's a bibliography and an index. So... Another really just interesting thing, this book comes with a DVD, CD, I don't know, in the back. I literally have nowhere to play this to figure out what's on it. But I think it's actually the audiobook, if I'm not mistaken. So this book was written in 2004. Since it was written, there has been an 18th printing in the last year. So this is a very popular book. It's made the rounds for a long time. I chose it because it's a topic that we all want to know about. I get asked about a lot. He wrote pretty extensively about it in this book. And so it just felt like a really great book to send out to the book subscribers. What I want to say is this, I want to point this out before people get all up in arms. This book was written in 2004. So this book was written 17 years ago. There is a section in this book that when you read it, you're going to have a moment where it's very outdated it's not the conversation it's not they're not the words that we use anymore but he has a whole section here on smudging and he uses the word smudging and as you know at this point we know better now i want to preface what i'm going to say about the book with putting this out there right now because to get all up in arms about inappropriate word usage when it was written so long ago and we were not having this conversation 17 years ago is I think a waste of energy and it's unnecessary. I am pretty sure that if Christopher were to write a book like this now he wouldn't use the words that he used but it wasn't done at a time when we were having this conversation. So I just want to get that out of the way. There is mention of smudging. There is talk about how to smudge. The word smudging is used that I am aware of. He's not of Native American descent. So just know that it's in the book, but the book is hella old at this point. I mean, as old as old can be when it's like only 17 years old. In any case, that is not a reason to not read this book. This book is really important in terms of how comprehensive, like he covers such a broad 
range of information when it comes to protection magic that I really think that this is a book that every witch should have at least read once because it gives you a broad understanding not just about ways to protect yourself but what you might be protecting yourself from and on top of those two things what is most important I think is understanding the way that we contribute to our experience in the world he talks about projection he talks about boundaries he talks about paranoia he talks about mental health in 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 a way that can give a witch the tool of discernment and understanding not just about when you should protect and when you shouldn't but also why you would and how to do it in a way that is actual spiritual and energetic hygiene that's maintenance on the day-to-day and you get spells and you get rituals and you get ways to do it when it's an extra ordinary circumstance. It's a beautiful book. It's really informative. It took me a while to read this book. I have quite a few of Christopher's books on my shelf to be read. I picked it up a while ago and we matched this book with another one of his books for the book bundle that we have for this month. One is on protection and the other one is on money. Both, he just does a really great job. This is a very well-respected teacher who's very learned and what I think struck me most about this book, just how much he covered and how comprehensive the whole thing felt because it's comprehensive, I think, in what is the most important place to be comprehensive, which is the perspective and the view of what this is when we talk about protection magic. Why are we protecting ourselves? Who do we protect ourselves from? Are people really truly out to get us? He talks about that. Chances are that no, no one's out to get you, but people might inadvertently be sending you energy or draining your energy in a way that maybe isn't intentional on their part, but is happening nonetheless. And it's an important part of this dialogue and it's an important part of protection magic to really pay attention to the fact that the chances of someone coming after you are fairly low. That's not to say that it doesn't happen. It absolutely happens, but we are still drained of energy by inappropriate or unhealthy connections with other people. We can be drained and affected by people's projections of who they think we are or what they would want us to be. There are ways to manage this energetically because that does happen. I don't remember if he mentions the use of social media. I have certainly mentioned this a lot where In a world today where so many people that you don't even know have access to the visuals of your life and have access to the things that you may or may not post online, you're getting an onslaught of projection onto you that you can't even begin to quantify and understand. When people see just a two-dimensional teeny sliver of what your life may be on social media, it's very easy fodder for what they can story up about your life. Do you know what I mean? They All sorts of narratives about what your life may be or not be according to what they think can be spun very easily and very quickly and very well fed by all the other things that you post on social media. From there, it's easy for people to have all sorts of projections onto you about whether you're good or bad or envy. All these different things can happen, even if it's someone that you don't know, even if it's someone who doesn't really mean you any harm, but they still have an energetic story going on in their head, right? The things that we think are the things that we project energetically onto the world. It affects our world. And so I love that there was a distinction made. He doesn't, I don't think he actually talks about it specifically with regards to social media, but it's part of our social life. These things happen. And these are the things that we definitely need to be doing protective, energetic, hygienic work on a daily basis around because they do absolutely affect you. So I love that he goes into that. I love that he makes those distinctions. And I love that he actually also provides you with ways to make distinctions between one or the other. How do you know if you're being cursed? How would you feel? What are the symptoms? What are ways to detect which kind of curse or kind of negative energy has been sent your way? important information. So this is a short and sweet one. I really think that it's an important book to be in your arsenal. It's an important jumping off point for what should be an extensive protection magic life of a witch over the course of their lives. So when you start with this book, you're going to have a really, really strong and great foundation for that work and an idea of where to start for yourself. I highly recommend it. Uh, It's why I chose it for the uh, book subscription. Again, if at the time that this goes live, 
we have these books available. I'll link to that below, but you know, these sell pretty quickly. Um, it's The Witch's Shield by Christopher Penchak. Get it, absolutely get it. And again, as I said earlier, when you hit the section about smudging, you know better now. You don't have to get all reactive and get up in arms about it. This book was written in 2004, so we don't have to have a meltdown about it. It was just not the conversation that we were having back in the day. And I think as an aside, apart from this book, when we read books that were written 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago, we come up to these passages or these ideas that are now super archaic because we've evolved. We know better now. We know more now. It's not reason enough to throw the baby out with the bathwater because a lot of these books have incredible amounts of wisdom and information that you can take, apply to your life, and then leave the rest, understanding the context from where this book came from. We were not having this conversation then. 20, 30 years ago, we weren't really having the conversation of pronouns and gender identity, right? So we need to keep this in mind that if it was written back then, you know that the book wasn't written with ill intention. It just wasn't something that we knew, but they still give you so much wisdom and so much information that can continue to fuel and empower your witchcraft path. So for that reason, when I decided to get this book and send it out, I knew that this was a part of the book and I thought it's okay, 2004. We weren't talking about it then, but also this book is really just chock full with so much information that you're going to walk away from this book very well equipped to manage your day to day life and your protection magic as you need it. So there it is. The Witch's Shield by Christopher Penchak. It's a beautiful cover. Really quick. Let's talk about that because so the purple is a matte, but then do you see how the words and the shield are a nice little glossy vibe? I love it. So there it is. The Witch's Shield by Christopher Penchak. I'll link to it down below. If you've read it, I'd love to hear your experience with it down below as well. And if you are interested in it and we still have those on sale, the link will be down below for this book as well. All right. Take care, everybody.